diabetes is a relatively new word, but so is the condition that, uh, that it represents, and that is a, r a rapid rise in obesity and diabetes. And I want to emphasize it's type 2 and not type 1. And because of this, this dual uh, increase in both conditions, you're also getting the complications that either and both of these conditions would do on their own. So you get the complications of diabetes, and you get the complications of obesity. And obviously, to together, they're just having a huge negative impact on, on the health of our nation. The good news, really, is that diabetes is both preventable by the weight adjustments, controllable by both uh, uh, oral or, or injection or, or, or diet, and also reversible. So it, it is a condition in which our own lifestyle, our own behaviors can play a significant role in what happens. And simple exercises, simple increase in activities, it doesn't require becoming a marathon runner. It may simply require uh, walking a few extra steps, parking in the parking lot, not right by the store, but maybe out in the fir you know, some distant spot where you walk in and you have to walk back, walk back out, or take the stairs. Those are some lifestyle adjustments that could be made that are not huge, but would have a huge impact. My research has been focused for years in the era of diabetes, but specifically a particular complication of diabetes, and that is diabetes inducing birth defects. So my work has been focused pretty much on trying to identify why it happens. Why, why do diabetic women uh, deliver malformed babies much to a greater extent than, than women without diabetes? So that's my work. And we've shown clearly that it's, it's the sugar, the high glucose, that is injurious. It creates injury to, to the cells and the cell membranes and create uh, substances that are considered to be free radicals. And these free radicals are toxic, if you will, to tissues, and particularly tissues in the early stage of development.